Evan. Might be. You never Evan know. was the producer. Never know. Who only seemed to work on teeny bopper projects. Never who know. discovered Rihanna at 3 a.m. in the morning in a hotel room. Wow. On the island wow. where she comes from. Mm. With no parental supervision. Mm. And then she was put on a private plane. A minor. Mm. From one country to another. Without parental supervision. Yeah, and she ended up in a boardroom. With Mr. Carter. Without parental supervision. Yeah, where are these parents at, man? <laughs> Y'all got young children. Would you just let your daughter leave and go to a whole other country with some fucking niggas you don't know? Mm. Absolutely not. No. Doing talent shows at 3 a.m. <laughs> no, that's sad. That's sad, bro. So you're saying that the rumors are true. There are rumors uh, circulating that Rihanna was actually trafficked here. Mm. Are you saying that that's... Starting to sound that way, don't you? Damn, bro. Cause a daddy ain't show up till 24 hours later to pick up a half a million dollar check for his daughter's ass. Mm. That's crazy. Maybe we should look more into that album, Auntie. That okay. album cover was disturbing. A child bride with a crown know. over her head and blood smeared on her face. What's it called? I'm about to look it up. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. She said, How don't people see SOSs anymore? She said, she said A&T, did she say? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just crazy. So do you think that there will ever be a space or a time where Rihanna may come forward and express some of her experiences? I don't know, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working around the clock. Hmm. She didn't look comfortable pregnant, throwing up that goddamn diamond sign during the Super Bowl. Word has it, she didn't want to do it at all. She just had no choice. Wow. And then she was forced to step down from her billion dollar company so she could be a mom. For real? I guess that's what happens when your pimp put up all the money in the first place. Do you think that's also the reason why the album situation is what it is, where she's not dropping any music? I mean, if I was her, I wouldn't. Mm. More music means more indebted. More music means more money laundering. More music means she stays a shell corporation and not a human being. You want to know what's funny? Yeah. The only difference between Inga Marshawn and Rihanna is that one was international. The other one was right next door. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, bro. Both about 14, both tender, both damn near versions. I was, I was young. I was young when Rihanna came out. By Sean Carter. I was about in sixth grade. I was about 11. I was 11 when, when, I, Rihanna, don't know. when I discovered Rihanna. I wonder how Rihanna's feeling about being replaced by Blue Ivy. Replaced? <sighs> what she mean so by So are replaced? you alleging that Jay-Z is grooming his own daughter? Oh, no. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be so hard to do. That ain't his baby. What? Allegedly. That's Tata, baby. I ain't gonna lie. It look like that nigga, Allegedly. though. I mean, that's a, it. She look like that nigga, though. It'd be really easy to groom somebody else's kid. Look at Justin. <laughs> look at Quincy. These niggas always like playing with other people's kids. Ain't I'm still like... Like... <laughs> Sorry, I just lost my light. Motion sensor. I guess yeah. I was still too long. Yeah, how about <laughs> say it must be a sensor. So you said that Blue Ivy is not oh, Jay Z. So oh, can you shoot. explain who Tata <laughs> might be? Hold on. How about say, oh shoot? They here. <laughs>
<laughs> they call me. Hold on. Oh, that's his number one goal. His name is Tata Smith. Nigga mm -hmm. from Philly. His spy. Wow. A man who had a very unpleasant conversation with Blue Cantrell once upon a time. And do you and so you're saying allegedly ad, alleging that Jay Z is aware that Blue Ivy was belongs to this man? Yeah, I'm saying oh. he's very aware of it. He puts his seed in everybody else. I just told you that. Mm. They going crazy, bro. Simple. So I don't know who the father of them twins is? They look a little strange, like they was half baked. I don't uh, know. Uh, shoot, uh, shoot. Hey, y'all make sure I hit the like button for me, man. You know, I'm they on, all like I'm on the grind. Dr. Frankenstein with their genetics. I'm on the grind. I'm on the grind. Hit the like button. So, yeah. answer, answer me this. Why do you think at this very moment, or what's your explanation as to why Jay-Z is doing this to Diddy now? Is it to keep his name out the crowd? But they ain't friends no more. He can't stand being himself not for one minute. Well, That's why he likes assuming other people's lives. He wears them until he outgrows them and then he finds another. Hmm. Persona. He crawls into that. <laughs> I wish somebody would just take him back to Marcy for a visit and trouble. That would be an interesting homecoming and homegoing. He's the shame of Brooklyn. So Jack, we gotta ask, you know, you, you've been kind of going viral and like, we gotta get your take on this. It's been a, like a, <laughs> it's been an FBI a warrant or going going around for you and it's been Over pictures. Over a truck that I lost responsibility of the second that I was arrested in that pool in Bossier, Louisiana and it was confiscated by Louisiana State Agency and I lost track of it. Left the phone number, nobody contacted me, so how am I responsible for what? And why the f would the feds give a shit about it? That ain't nothing but a prank from Tasha K. Mm. Sorry, was you mad I tanked your Belial interview? I don't know. Maybe you should have asked him something that was true. Wow. Ain't nobody falling for you. <coughs> ain't mm. no warrant for my arrest for no goddamn truck that I ain't have responsibility of, especially considering I was in jail. And Tasha K, I believe you're part of the reason why I was there. Mm. 